Somebody asked the question, is it real that there are cities under the sea? And my answer is spiritually, it's yes. Hi, my name is Reverend K.L. Blessing. And you're once again welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. I want to give you some revelation about the city under the sea or the marine kingdom. There's a, there's a place such as the marine kingdom and it's a parallel world or the astral world. It is not physical, but it's a spiritual place. But when you enter into that spiritual realms, you will see physical manifestation of an, an entire new world. It's an entire new world. It's only in the supernatural realms. And a lot of people are able to go there to do so many things. You see, when the devil rebelled against God and he was cast down, according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, that we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamp and by the word of our testimony. So there was war in heaven and the enemy, the devil, Satan, Lucifer, rebelled against God and God gave command to Michael to fight against the dragon. And the dragon was defeated, but he came down with one third of angels. And these angels, majority of them, some of them are hanging in the second heavens. And some also came on the earth realms and they are most are also in the sea in the sea but because they are angels and angels are spirit you cannot see them but they exist just as you cannot see the air but the air is very real to you because without the air you will die so in the same way these spirits are dwelling in their realm. It's just that it's unseen to you, but it is a real place. How do I break it down? Do you believe there is heaven? And do you believe Jesus and God is in heaven? And do you believe that one day you will die and go to paradise and heaven? But heaven is not a physical, tangible place to you right now. It is a spiritual place. But once you get to that spiritual place, the place is physically real. <laughs> Are you understanding? You can gaze at the top and see clouds. Even use a spaceship to go into to the different planetaries. And you will not see heaven. But heaven is a spiritual place, but still very physical. Because the Bible says, Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place for you. In my father's house, there are many mansions. So that's where the streets are decorated with gold. And the mansions are made with beautiful, uh, how do you call it? Marbles. And that's why each and every one of us must do our possible best to make it to heaven and it's simple to know jesus christ as your lord and personal savior to worship him in truth and in spirit to shun sin evil and to serve god during your time on earth simple the bible says jesus says i'm the way the truth and the life no one has access to the father saves through me so you allow you accept jesus as your lord and personal savior you read the bible and obey the commandment of the word of God and you live a holy life, a righteous life with the help of the Holy Spirit and God will help you to make it to this place. So I just wanted to make an example as to how heaven is also in the spiritual realm, but it's a physical place that we will see things, you see different beautiful places, um, angels and see trees and see things but it's a spiritual place in the same way the marine kingdom the marine kingdom 
the water world or the city under the sea is also a physical place but it's in the parallel or astral world and when most of the fallen angels fell majority fell into the water and so we have a lot of different demonic or principalities or powers dominions principalities powers rulers that are living in the sea and have made their domain under the water their cities their nations in the water and so everywhere there is a water body you will find a certain type of demonic entity fallen spirits or demonic spirits that dwells in there later we'll talk about because they are different between fallen angels and demons but this is another subject for another day so you realize that these fallen angels and majority of principalities and powers some fell into some are in the domain of the atlantic ocean the pacific ocean the indian ocean and everywhere there is rivers and streams lakes lagoons even sometimes ponds and pools these spirits can lodge in and make their domain and begin to have their meeting place but when we talk about the sea the ocean it is usually occupied by the queen of the coast and in the queen of the coast also you find many people think that the queen of the coast is the spirit which is the dominant power that rules in the water world but the real power dominant power that rules is leviathan leviathan is the principality that rules in the water world leviathan and also there are sub other demonic entities like asimudi the marine kingdom or sarines we have the sarines and we have the marines whereby you find half of the the top of their bodies are humans and the down part is fish the sarines and the marines and then sometimes you also have the quelled serpent domain whereby their top is human and their part the, the from the waist downwards is snakes and then we have different monstrous demonic entities also that occupies the seas and that is where the marine kingdom is very advanced in technology very what advanced in technology and in beauty very beautiful place the only place i can compare it to with those who have been there and i'm going to give you and i give you an example of a lady who visited that place and operated from that place is dubai you see dubai how that place is being beautified or that dubai has become so beautiful that people go there for tourist attraction it is probably 100 times beautiful than dubai and very sophisticated in advancement in technology before the iphone came they already had it before television came they already they are always 100 years advanced than us so every technological advancement 
and scientific discoveries are many times starting from the marine kingdom and then it comes into the physical world and that's why all the technologies we are facing experiencing now even though it's helping us in our lives but it's also really to prepare us for the new world order and to take as many as as many people into hell as possible people have the notion that it's only wigs perfumes cosmetics and clothings that are made in the marine kingdom that is very wrong many things are made cars all the modern cars whereby people spend five hundred thousand dollars to buy many inventions that catches the attentions of people and people are willing to die and kill to get there is a lab under the sea the marine kingdom whereby in the marine kingdom they have engineers scientists politicians and many heads of state and senators and chiefs and kings that receive their powers and authorities to govern on this earthly realm they receive their powers from the marine kingdom because the water or the, the, the this world this planet is 30 percent land and 70 percent water so the water controls the land and everything came out of the water in the beginning of genesis the bible says and the water covered the deeps the whole place was covered with water and darkness and then god said let there be so water controls and is the dominant force whereby most of these powers when people go when people are connected to secret societies and lodges and courts their headquarters are always connected to the marine kingdom when you worship uh, you go to the witch doctor, the psychic, the um, obia man, the voodoo priestess, and spiritualist. Their headquarters is still connected to the marine kingdom. False ministers and pastors and prophets and apostles and whatever it is, their headquarters is in the marine kingdom. Many pastors receive their powers for signs, wonders, and deceiving people from the marine kingdom you just have to go there they will make incision on your tank make you do some human sacrifices and give you some powers to come in for signs and wonders and pull crowds and some of these sirens and incubus spirit and succubus spirit are even able to come in and take the form of human beings to undertake satanic agendas to seduce and lure people into different fashions design and, and, and ways of dressing and also have relationship or intercourse with people so that they will destroy their stars and destiny and keep them in bondage under the water i'm going to say something which is very dangerous uh, which people don't understand that some people who we might think are dead and physically they died and many times when they died their bodies were not discovered because of a plane crash and the person is dead but they did not really retrieve their body or they got drowned and they could never find them such individuals even though they may be dead but they are operating and working under the water so i submit to you there are some popular figures who are dead physically on this earth but are not dead really they are under the water helping with engineering things to bring the new world order there are many 
scientists and many heads of state leaders who are all getting their powers from the marine kingdom it is one of the superpowers that controls this world in fact if you are not really for god and you don't get endorsement from the marine kingdom you will never be able to be successful as a head of state so you realize that many heads of state their policies and some of the things they are doing which is against is antichrist is because the source of their power influence is from the marine kingdom many many and if you come and you don't want to submit to make sure you don't stay in power for long you'll be ousted or you'll be voted out quickly one time or assassinated but those who are loyal and will propagate gays and lesbianism and propagate one world religion and propagate the antichrist agenda they will sponsor you many celebrities musicians footballers many heads of state and leaders musicians get their powers from the marine kingdom because your connection with those illuminati freemason are all connected to the marine kingdom and they visit there regularly spiritually sometimes when they go into their coven then they do they set up their candles and incense and perfumes and then they do their recitation and then they astral project from the physical realm into the spiritual realm and they find themselves in the marine kingdom and then they have their meetings i told you that place can be very beautiful like the country i just told you about dubai 100 times beautiful than dubai when you get into that realm, you will find buses, planes, and you find universities, and you find uh, scientific labs whereby people are busy engineering things to bring on the earthly realm to come and deceive people and take people's attention from God, from Christ. Have you thought about how? A shoe will come in. Last time I was watching, I think Jordan shoe came out and people were queuing long line just to buy the new Jordan shoe. You think it is an ordinary shoe. Do you know where it was engineered from? And why people were queuing, fighting to get that shoe. Even the iPhone and iPad and all those things. The greatest agenda is to take people's attention from God. And today, many of us are idols to our phones, idols to Facebook, idols to YouTube, idols to these things. We don't know. It is all engineered to steal the attention of people not having time for God, time for Bible, time for prayer, time to serve the Lord into these things manufactured items these cars that are coming in i don't know the names of the cars but some of these newest cars and so expensive and you see people standing by it and taking pictures with it and sport cars very expensive Lamousini, Lamousini or whatever it is, Lamousini. These are all engineered in the marine kingdom. So the marine kingdom, my question is the marine kingdom is real.
people visit there regularly. You can't say you are a world celebrity, a sensation, an idol, if you are not connected to the marine. Michael Jackson's and all those people, they were connected to the marine. You think Jay-Z's and Beyonce's are ordinary human beings? No. Where comes their influence and why do why are people following them and people loving their music and people will die to be around them because their influence is coming from the marine kingdom. One of your heads of state, admire president, admired by many all over the world. And yesterday he was carrying a marine mandate to propagate gays, lesbianism, abortion, and the new world order agenda. But because we are so blinded, because when they go into the marine kingdom, they are giving a charm to entice the masses. They are smooth talkers. When they speak, people hear it so beautiful and so influential, so charismatic. So, oh, this president, I like him. Oh, this president, he's so nice. He speaks all right. But listen to their policies. Do they stand for Jesus? Do they stand for God? This celebrity who is a footballer, whether Messi or whether Ronaldo, whether Kobe Bryant, whether Jordan, you think this James, LeBron James, you think they are just ordinary people? <laughs> where is Kobe Bryant? I just want to ask, where is Kobe Bryant? Where is Kobe Bryant? That's how I leave it. They are not ordinary. In this world, you think it's just hard work. You can be working hard, working hard, working hard, doing everything possible. If you don't link with these secret societies, you will not be able to enter into the next phase. And that's why many people have sold their soul to the devil through secret society, linking them to the marine kingdom. And they give them power, influence, wealth, fame. Look at what they did to Michael Jackson. They will use you to deceive masses into hell. And when they are done with you, they will waste you. Look at what they did to Whitney Houston. They will use you to sing, to draw many to the devil. When they are through with you, they will waste you. Look at what they did to Kobe. When they were down with him, come on and join us. And there are some people, ex-heads of state, states of presidents, who were carrying their agenda and still carrying their agenda. Please, we are in the world, we are in the end times. Open your eyes. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by these people. There's what's called the Marine Kingdom. That's what's called a marine kingdom. And the least is what people are going through spiritual marriages because a family member was um, connecting to a witch doctor or self idols connected to the marine kingdom. And you start having, you, you start sleeping and seeing yourself dreaming of having sex. It's all part of the marine kingdom. But their major assignment is bigger than the uh, spiritual marriage. Anytime you are having spiritual marriage or incubus, sacabus, you are sleeping, having sex, having fibroid, miscarriages, confused, divorcing and separation in your marriage, the marine kingdom is also controlling, controlling, controlling. And, and, and the danger is that some of these serene demons or incubus, sacabus demons from the marine kingdom sometimes can come in on this planet and work through the witch doctors, the voodoo priests and voodoo priestess, the psychics and sorcerers, so that the people who go to solicit for help from such false prophet or spiritualist, they can tell you they are helping you to have a baby and your 
baby will be possessed by these spirits. So with this girl, for instance, her mom went to a spiritualist and she said she wanted to be pregnant and the lady took her to the forest and the lady was being led by a snake to teach her certain herbs to use to make a medicine for her. So by the instruction of the snake, the woman, the spiritualist took the herbs and gave it to her to use and she became pregnant. Her mom became pregnant with her. The man became pregnant with her for three and a half years. Can you imagine a woman pregnant three and a half years because of the place she went to receive help from? And somebody will say, How can the devil give babies? It is God who gives children, but the devil can contaminate the baby before they come out. The same way, the things I'm teaching you right now is very deep. You know, John the Baptist when he was in his mother's room, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. In the same way, a baby in their mother's room, if the child's mom are not prayerful and they like to go to false places, psychics and witch doctors, shrines, fetish priests and voodoo priestess seeking for help, that baby can easily be possessed by witchcraft or marine demonic spirit. So the child will grow up and be used by these demons for satanic assignment and agenda with this lady because of where the mom went for went to for them to contaminate her and possess her with the marine spirit she the mom became pregnant with her for about three and a half years because she, before she became pregnant uh, she could give birth to her and when she was even in the mother's womb she was already every time coming out spiritually to undertake her assignment as an agent. She killed about five million, uh, million people. F five million people because of her marine witchcraft. Here she talks about the first time she was now physically going to be. Remember, she came, she was brought as a spirit into the mom and possessed this hair now she's going back later on that she's grown to go to where she came from and this is what she said i saw strange things under the sea i saw a person with the head of a horse these are some of the spirits she was seeing a person a human being by the head was a horse i also saw a human with a big eye the face is like one big eye and also another eye at the back. So one big eye, the face is all about one big eye here. All these monsters we see in our movies and these demons, they are all, be, are all demonic and principalities. That Hollywood has been depicting as monsters and no, no, they are just no monsters. They are depicting the marine demons inspiration. That's what I'm saying. All these movies and Hollywood stars and music are all engineered from the marine kingdom to win the hearts and souls and minds of people to the devil to worship the Antichrist because the Antichrist spirit is already at hand and for people not to have time for God. Today people don't have time for Jesus, don't have time for God. They are setting us up for the new world order, one world religion. Prosperity gospel, grace message, no heaven consciousness. So the face, uh, how do you call it? Big eye, big eye, and that's all you see. I saw a goat, but with a human face. These demonic entities take the... Uh, um, the images of certain animals. I also saw humans with five hands on one side and four on the other hands. They were monstrous. There was no, when she went to this domain of the marine kingdom, the, the specific domain she went, 
they were they, they had no chairs they were all sitting on quelled snakes and that's why anybody who is dealing with marine marine spiritual marriage some of the spiritual marriage are not sirens in kubu sakabus but rather serpent serpent the python spirit so when you are doing you are getting deliverance you realize that the person begins to move and behave like a snake because the spirit that has married them is a serpentine spirit. They form the clique of the Leviathan, the Leviathan well, uh, marine kingdom under the sea. So when she went under the sea, she was introduced to the different spirit also that operate from the marine. Jezebel also can operate in the marine and Jezebel spirit she was introduced to Jezebel and Jezebel spirit demon told her the assignment pride haughtiness uh seduc seduction um anything to do with nudity career women people who are much more into women who are driven by career than family orientation People who dress to show their breasts, navels, and butt, and calves, and all those things. Dress, provocative dress, seductive dress. These are all coming from the Jezebel. She was also introduced to Asimodi. Asimodi is responsible for incubus, sacabus, spiritual marriages. Asimodi is responsible for atopic pregnancy. Uh men becoming impotent fibroid miscarriages are all under asimodi there's all they also operate in the marine and also separation and divorce and women not being able to marry or seeing themselves becoming barren then she was also introduced to bestel bestel is Bestow, Bestow is also a principality that causes autism and uh, mentally challenged children. Autism, mentally challenged children. Then she was also introduced to Abaddon and also Apollyon. Um, Apollyon is responsible for division, confusion, misunderstanding argument gossip children who are stealing apollyon and also introduced to gog and magog fighting spirit that brings about war routing protesting violence civil war wars between nations anytime you see wars karate kung fu all these fighting things are all gog magog they also had their headquarters in the marine Astaroth is also was introduced to her in the marine kingdom who is also in control of her traditions and customs and Astaroth also has what's called Semiramis who Catholic people worship as Mary and Baal which the Muslim worship and then Nimrod the Catholic are saying the Mary is holding Jesus. The Jesus is the the, the, the um, Nimrod, and the mother is Ramis, and the father is Baal. These are all demonic entities, and that's why you have to only worship God through His Son Jesus Christ. So she was introduced to all these spirits under the water, she, under the water. That's where they ma manufacture cars, clothing, shoes corn beef you know corn beef she says she couldn't eat corn beef because some of these corn beef be careful when you go to the store and you see sardines with mermaid don't buy those never buy any sardine with me mermaid anything you see mermaid on run away from it because she said they make the corn beef 
in the marine kingdom and bring it in here with human body they grind human parts they grind human body and make some corn beefs and bring it into the world so that when people eat it they will become sick with cancer diabetes health issues and die prematurely and that's why you have to be prayerful when you are buying your food items and you have to pray before you eat and you have to be prayerful in because some of these um she said the queen of the coast has a long hair and then they cut her hair and then they make some of these how do you call it peruvian hairs and um indian hairs and brazilian hairs wigs so now you put on these wigs and then you are possessed by the marine spirit and then you can marry you are going to you're having sex in dreams fibroid some of these makeups are all part of human uh, parts i'm not saying all but from her description majority of the product that they sell was being manufactured from the marine kingdom so some of you for you to receive deliverance from spirit husband spirit wife you have to be careful the kind of dressings you wear the kind of wigs perfumes and how do you call it um, so in this end times you have to be very careful what you put on as a woman especially i'm talking about a woman because the marine spirit they target women a lot and because of that today many women cannot get pregnant uh, cannot get pregnant fibroid miscarriages divorce and separation why because easily possessed by the dress the wigs some of the things you buy that are contaminated by the marine kingdom how do you know how do you you have to be prayerful and you have to learn to learn to dress moderately don't learn from celebrities they will initiate you without your knowledge and you'll find yourself in big trouble in the name of jesus i pray that you'll be awake to know that we are in the end times and then the marine kingdom is really impacting our world many of us our heart has turned away from god and has turned into social media platforms it's it's an agenda today we don't read the bible but we will spend hours on youtube on facebook on the phone and on on, on, on many things stealing our fellowship with god We've made celebrities our idols. Songs we have no business listening to. Even politicians we have no reason to endorse or follow them because their policies and what they stand for are antichrist. We are so blinded because the marine spirit is in control. May the Lord help you. You'll find more information on some of the books I'll recommend later on. Get the books, read it, and get your own, your self-deliverance. Join us every day for prayers, for breakthrough, deliverance, and to prepare yourself for the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, how do you connect? Um, join us every day for prayers. 11 p.m. Eastern Time for those of you in the U.S. 4 a.m. for those of you in Europe. 5, 5, 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. 4 a.m. for those of you in London. 11 p.m. for U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe. And you join us live through our YouTube broadcast. Join us by subscribing to this YouTube channel, KL Blessing. And click the bell. It will notify you when we meet for prayers. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel called Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Subscribe to it and click the bell. You'll be notified whenever we meet for prayers. And also follow us on Facebook, KL Blessing. KL Blessing, K-A-Y. Our blessing is E-L-B-L-E-S-S-I-N-G. KL Blessing, two words, K-K-A-Y. And our blessing is E-L-B-L-E.
E S S I N G. Follow me on Facebook and join us every 11 p.m. Eastern Time US for prayers, 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe, Europe. You can also buy the books, ebook and Kindle form only right now because of the COVID. Ebook and Kindle form. When you buy the ebook, it will be sent to your email. If you don't get it on your email, check your junk email or trash. Sometimes it goes there and you can start reading and get revelational knowledge so that you discern the times and season. I want to suggest to you that you make sure you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon and you have to make sure that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior and that you are worshiping him in truth and in spirit. You are reading the Bible and knowing God for yourself because we are in the end times and very soon Jesus is coming. They are getting ready to implement the new world order. They are putting all the structures in place. The same way, without any mask, you can't get into stores. A time is coming without a 666 mark. You can't buy, you can't sell, you can't go to the hospital, you can't afford, you can't, you can't have an apartment. You'll be persecuted if you don't take that mark of the beast. So everything, the same way a time is coming to become mandatory for you to take the vaccine. They will try and make it mandatory for you to receive the mark of the beast. Everything is being put in place. Today, they are trying to make you dependent on the government because they are locking down. Once they lock down, what's going to happen? You will not be able to work and therefore you have to be depending on the government for stimulus for money. And once you are dependent, the government cannot begin to control what they can give you or what they cannot give you if you don't do this or do that. And when the time comes for the new world order, they will tell you, if you don't have the mark of the beast, you will not be able to receive any funds or any help. We are in the end times. We are moving into a cashless society whereby everybody will be given a card, whereby you'll be controlled. Even some of the vaccine they are saying, it can cause them to uh, monitor you and track you wherever you are and also be able to manipulate your genetic makeup and your behavior. Many things, mysterious things are being are happening. It's taking place in the marine kingdom because the Antichrist is going to be released. One world religion, one world currency, the unification of the world powers and for the Antichrist to come. The question is that, are you ready, prepared for the soon return of Jesus Christ? We are in the grace period. So make sure that you start reading your Bible, start praying, start living a holy life, and get yourself connected and in his presence. And make sure that you know Jesus. Before I leave, I want to make sure you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. If you don't know Jesus as your personal, Lord and personal Savior, say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, today, I accept your son Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord Jesus, I accept you into my heart, into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe that you came down from heaven to die for my sins. I believe that you died and you resurrected at the, on the third day and you ascended to heaven and you are seated at the right hand side of the God the Father interceding for me. Today, I embrace you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me from all my sins, all my iniquities, all my transgression. Wash me with your blood and help me from today to live for you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty fill you with his Holy Spirit, give you a desire to read your word, to be in fellowship with the Christians. Find a Bible-based church. Find a Bible and start reading from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And may the Lord God Almighty keep you in Jesus' mighty name. If you are backsliding, there's the time for you to slide back to God. If you are falling from grace, there's the time God is calling you to return back to your first love. We are in the end times. Jesus is coming soon. So get yourself ready. For more inf <laughs> information about the ministry, about the books, Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Freshfireprayer.com. I just wanted to enlighten somebody that the marine kingdom is real and it is really at work against us. 
So we have to be prayerful and we have to stay connected to God. God bless you. Bye. Hi, this is Reverend Kia. Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I'm here to recommend to you some deliverance materials which will help you. The Bible says, buy knowledge and sell it not. Buy knowledge and sell it not. You have to read you have to discover in order to recover if you don't discover the mystery behind your misery you'll not be able to recover and possess or repossess your possession so knowledge is very vital in this day and age because what you don't know is what the enemy or your enemies will use against you and that's why the u.s spend huge sums of money using it for intelligence because they have to know what their enemies are planning against the U.S. before they, in order to overturn it, cancel it, frustrate it before their enemies can come against them. So the Bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So many people are looking for deliverance, seeking for deliverance, but they are very ignorant about the ways the devil operates and they keep on falling into the devil's trap and the devil keeps on getting them. The first book I recommend to you is called Spiritual Diagnosis. Mind you, you can get all these books on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com you can get it on a paper book or you can get it on ebook in the ebook when you buy it it will be emailed to you as an attachment and you can open it and get it you go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com the first book is spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis is the first book i wrote after the lord revealed to me the way the enemy operates against humanity the way witchcraft operate, curses operate, demons operate. In this book, you will understand how the enemy operates. You are going to learn about the portals, which the enemies or demons can enter into your body. You, you know how demons also operate. You also know how to keep your deliverance, how to keep, um, stay delivered. What can keep you from receiving deliverance? You know the different ways the enemy can attack you either through witchcraft either through curses either through spirit husband either through your name either through against your marriage this are this book was exposed to you anybody who wants to know about deliverance and about the ways the demons and the witches operate how witches can hunt down your star how witches can um you turn you into scape scapegoat in order to destroy you this book will give you all the vital informations you need for your deliverance and it will help you body afflictions how many people are going through attacks on their body demonic visitation demons in, in, uh, visiting you which cascade get good evil soul ties i explained to you how all these things oppress asmodeus and osmodeus these are demons that breaks marriages and keep people single satanic spiders and spider web every time you experience a spider web in your life satanic monitors demons and witches monitoring you evil authors and covenant that are affecting your body, uh, affecting your life. You learn all star hunters, demons and witches that are after your star and your glory and how they can pursue after your star to destroy you, how to use the anointing oil, how to anoint your house. These are all uh, and how to do self-deliverance. This book, Spiritual Diagnosis, Spiritual Diagnosis. The other one is called Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book gives you 30 dreams that shows you that your blessings and your prosperity is under demonic and witchcraft attacks. 35 prayer to cancel demonic dreams and, uh, and against your life. Are you, have you been having evil dreams? Have you been having bad dreams? Do you understand the dreams? Do you know how to pray to reverse it, to destroy it? How to overcome the four major causes of the poverty? You will discover what causes poverty and the 11 witchcraft activities. 11 witchcraft activities to destroy your blessings and your destiny. You also learn about the 16 demons that attack our finances. Prayers to overcome demonic operation against your blessings. Uh, prayers to uh, against witchcraft activities. And nice spiritual element for your, your blessings. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration, anybody going through marital problem, anybody wanting to get married, anybody wanting to know how to pray against witchcraft, against marine demons, against strange women, against household wickedness, against spouse uh, charms, against your marriage, and how to pray to preserve your marriage, get this book, Deliverance from Blessing Destroy, uh, Emergency Prayers for uh, Marriage Restoration, any marriage under attack, this is your book. 
Consuming Fire for Fire. This is the book that you need in order to teach you how to pray against the spirit husband, spirit wife, python spirit, leviathan spirit, witchcraft spirit, demonic spirit, strange woman, come against singleness, spirit of delay, spirit of uh, satanic embargoes, anything, anybody who is going through witchcraft, this is the book. And if you want to know how to pray against a witch, get this book and it will teach you how to pray against witchcraft and get your deliverance. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration. Emergency prayers. Urgent prayers. This urgent prayers against the strong man. This book will teach you how to pray against back to sender. Anybody who releases evil arrow against you, how to send it back to the sender. This um, book will also teach you how to pray to open every satanic padlock that has padlocked your destiny and your star. This book will teach you how to pray against the spirit of death, sicknesses, and diseases, especially cancer. And this book will also teach you how to pray for favor in um, for your life. And if you are dealing with any strong man, the spirit of Pharaoh that is holding you in bondage and captivity, this is the book you need. Emergency prayer for uh, urgent prayer against the strong man. Get this book and it will bless you. Touch not my anointed. If you don't want witches and wizards to mess you up, this is the book to get. And once you, you begin to use it, you will get, begin to get your deliverance from all the powers of darkness. Get, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Get these materials. Start reading them. Start praying these prayers in the midnight hour or every time you have and start praying them. Use these prayers and pray it and it will change your life and it will help you to fight against the powers of darkness and your life and your destiny will never be the same. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you order the paper, uh, ebook, you will get it within 24 hours uh, and we will email it to you as an attachment. If you order the paperback, you give us a uh, four to five days and it will be emailed to you uh, it will be sent to you and it will help you out to get your deliverance god richly bless you bye